Today's video will be a review of EB Store by Rick Nguyen. We'll take a quick look at the sales page to see what he's promising you, and then we'll go inside the software to see what you're actually getting, okay? I'll then walk through the upsells, and then we'll talk about the strategy behind buying this product and if it can actually help you make money online. I'll then give you my recommendation based on my years of experience working online. So stay with me because I've discovered something important that you need to know before purchasing this product. Hi, I'm Suzanne Stoddart and let's get going. Now I gather you're here looking at this product because you're looking for a way to make money online, right? And are you suffering from information overload with no idea how to put all the pieces together? Or maybe you've bought so many shiny objects, none of them working, and you're just totally frustrated. Well, if you click my link below, you'll come to this page where you could quickly fill this in to take you to this page, which is where you want to be if you're serious about wanting to make money online. This is a free boot camp to show you how to build the foundations of a $100 per day affiliate business in just seven days. This is where you're going to learn the truth about affiliate marketing and that building a sustainable income online is more straightforward than you think. Okay, let's go back to this sales page. And it says here that you can build an online business in your spare time without any skills, experience, or inventory with a brand new AI powered app that auto creates a fully functional online ebook e-store. So it apparently comes with over 10,000 ebooks in popular genres. He claims it's AI powered software, but unfortunately I could find no evidence of that inside and I'll show you that in a second. And he says that you can start selling instantly. And this is the big issue I have with this product. And down here, when they say it's 100% legal and ethical, well, I don't know why they always need to say that, unless, of course, they're teaching you something that isn't. And we'll go over all of that when we go inside, okay? So this is what your dashboard looks like. This is a copy that the vendor has allowed us to use to test, and it shows all the websites that were made inside this copy. The first thing you would want to do is to look at the training, and he has a lot of videos here, so this is good. He shows you how to use each element down the sidebar there, okay? So you'd want to make sure you check all these out first. And then you click on Online eBook Store. And these are all the different things you can do to add to your done-for-you website. So you would start by adding a store and clicking here. So you would enter a name here, and then it would be a subdomain on ebstore.co.in or you can use a custom domain name which you've purchased somewhere else. Now keep in mind that even though you may have a custom domain, this is still on his server and you're at the mercy of how long he's going to keep this up, okay? Because if down the road he decides it's not cost effective for him to keep this running, he could take it down and you're going to lose everything. Next down here is your ebook store settings. Now I created this demo one here, so I will show you. When you go inside, you can upload your own logo, enter your contact email, say a little bit about yourself, and then enter your social media access here. You can add an opt-in form code from a third-party autoresponder if you want to collect leads. Give your site a title and a site description and again, a, another image for your favicon. So you would save all this, but the issue I had was when I clicked on my link for the store, notice that my logo did not come up, nor is there any title here anywhere. And if I scroll to the bottom, this is where your site description would be. So it's not working like it's supposed to. I'm certainly not getting my logo showing here. Next would be product category. And I'm not sure why this is here, unless you're creating a lot of websites and you want one in different categories. Because if you look at the site, all the categories are pre-established, okay? Next down here is the auto blogging campaign. And to create a blog, you're basically connecting an RSS feed to your store. So you would select your store, if you have a website with an RSS feed, you can do it here. 
I selected to choose their database, and my goodness, they have many, many to look for. You would have to spend a long time going through all of these to decide which one you'd want to connect to, or more than one. And on my site, when you click on blog, I chose an RSS feed that had to do with technology of any kind. So that feed is bringing up articles that they have on different gadgets and things like that. Next down here would be managing your blog posts. The, the demo site, this is the site that I created to work on. And these are all the different blogs that have been populated so far. So you can go in here and do some editing. Now, the only problem I have with this is that because it's an RSS feed, it's, it has links that they put in for their own purposes. And what they're implying here is that you can come in here and take out these links and add links to your own products in hopes that somebody would click on them and purchase. And I just find that somewhat unethical. You can also manage your pages. Now, every site online is required to have legal pages. So I have added one here, an affiliate disclosure and a privacy policy. So when you go to add a page, you give it a name like privacy policy, select which website it is you're putting it on. You can add a logo and then you have to add your own content. They have not done this for you. So you're going to have to research online what a privacy policy should say. And there are sites that give you that. You would copy paste that in here and then change it to pertain to your website name. Another area in here is if you want to add a slider on your website. So they're allowing you again to add an image of what you'd want for your slider. Personally, I don't recommend this. I find sliders just slow down your site. And then there is the ads manager. And this is how they're saying you can make extra money by people clicking on your ads. So when you go into add advertisement, you again would pick your store and then you'd pick the position of where you want that ad to show. And then after that, you can either add the script code, if you know what that is, as a beginner, you probably don't, or you can just upload an advertisement banner and add an affiliate link to it. On my demo site, I added one in the sidebar at least I wanted to, and I just uploaded this logo image here with the, with the link going to Google so I could see what it looked like. I also added a home page banner and I added this image. So when I submitted these and went to my website, I saw no header banner up here. So I scroll down. Oh, and there it is. So it's part way down the page, but notice there is no side banner. There is one here that the vendor must have put on that leads to something for him, but I don't see my side banner here whatsoever. So that wasn't working very well. Next is the news API setting. And if you click here, it shows you how you can get an API key code that you can put in here. And again, would add news articles to your site. The payment setting is where you would enter your payment processing site. So if you have PayPal, Stripe, or bank transfer, okay, you would have to add all that information in here so that if somebody actually bought something, you could get paid. Next is your coupon code. And I made one here to show you. I chose my store and I decided to make it a percentage discount and it would say 25 off. I submitted that but I'm not quite sure where the heck it shows up because again, you look back at my store and there is nothing like that in here. There is nothing showing any kind of coupon. Next is where you would manage your customers and it would give you their name and their email, their status and their action. Now keep in mind that you can send them an email, but it must only pertain to their purchase on this site. You're not allowed to use this email for any other kind of marketing promotions, okay? And then you can manage your orders and really just, just shows you who bought what and from where, things like that. So that's all about building your online store, which as I showed you, looked like this. This is all pre-populated for you. So this is the home page, okay? And there's also 
in the menu, the, a bestseller page, which looks like this. And under pages, this would be your privacy page and your affiliate disclosure page. So that's what I had added. And then I showed you already the blog articles. And if you click on a particular category, the different ebooks in that category come up, okay? So back inside here, the next thing is the PDF ebook maker. Now, really, all this does is allow you to copy and paste or write your own information in here with the title, and it creates an ebook. Someone here created one, and see, it comes up in a PDF reader, and it would just have your text and all your images. So this would take quite a bit of work to make something look really nice. Then you can manage your done for you ebooks. So it gives you a list of all the ebooks that are populated in this software. And you can see there are over 1100 pages here. Now you can go in and edit a particular one if you want. So you would select your store. Well, you shouldn't change the title if you wanted to add to the introduction and the summary, you can. But this is how you would go in and edit. And you can certainly adjust the price if you want. Right now it's showing it's $9.99 on sale for $7.99 and a book rating and the link for access. Okay, so that's how you can manage particular ebooks if you want to. The next thing in here is price setting. Now you can change all your prices at once rather than going through 10,000 different ebooks. And you can do that by add price. I'll show you what I did here. Okay, you again would choose your store. You can say that the original price was, let's say, 67 and the offer price is 27 So when you go to your own site, you can see that all of the prices were $67 on sale for 27 Next, here are your own ebooks. And this would be if you wanted to add an ebook that you have PLR rights to, okay? If it's not written by yourself, you have to have permission to do that. So you can see that a couple people have uploaded here. Next is other products. And again, this is just adding another product to your store to sell, which is just another ebook, right? Because that's the main focus of your website. Another thing I want to share with you about your own ebooks is that there is a video in the training that says if you go to your site and click on blog, and then click on one of the articles that's showing from your RSS feed. It's saying that you can take all of this text, copy it, bring it back in here and paste it and change your links and everything and then sell it as an ebook. That is illegal, guys. You cannot take someone else's content because you don't have permission to use it. You are breaking copyright law if you do that and you could get into serious trouble. Next is the client finder. Now, I don't see the purpose of this unless you're trying to find leads to share your link with. So yesterday, I, when I tested this, I put in health and fitness in Chicago, just as an example, and I clicked on search leads. And you can see everything that came up. Okay, so if you had a lot of health ebooks on your site and you wanted these people to look at it, then it's giving you their website link so that you can contact them. Now, keep in mind that, in my opinion, this is spamming, okay? It, they are probably not interested in your ebooks because they are legitimate businesses and they have their own material, but that's what this is all about. You can then change your password. I showed you the training. There's some bonuses in here, and of course, you always have access to your upgrades. And speaking of that, let me show you what they are. The front end product is $17, and if you try and click away, you can get a discount to $13. The first OTO is unlimited, but they're all the same, so I really don't see the sense in that. And then there's Advanced Profit Stream Agency and Traffic Academy. They all have their set prices, and they all have their down sales. So be very careful here. I always recommend you try the front end product first to see if you like it because you could spend a whole lot more money here and there's no guarantee you're going to get a refund. So what would be the strategy behind buying such a software? Well, that's a good question. Now that you have your site built up, 
which is going to be identical to everyone else's site, now what? If you look at the sales page, it says here that you can start your own store and start making money in three steps. Log in and watch the app create your fully loaded site. Okay, I showed you that. Step two, connect your payment processor. I showed you that. Step three, sell ebooks and collect payments. Really? How is that going to happen? Who's going to see your website, let alone buy anything? Do you see the missing link here? If you're a total beginner and have no experience getting traffic, then you're stalled. There's no traffic training in here, so you have no idea how to drive traffic to your site. That's the something important that I wanted you to know, the huge missing link in this strategy. No traffic means no sales. So my recommendation is no, you should not buy this product unless you know what you're doing to get traffic. Wouldn't you prefer a much better alternative? If you click my link below, you will access honest and ethical training. You will learn the truth about affiliate marketing and you'll learn how to build a real business that will make you real money. So thanks so much for watching my video today. If you enjoyed it, would you subscribe to my channel and click like below the video. If you have any comments or questions about this software, just leave them below and I'll get right back to you. So until next time, keep doing your research. Cheers.